Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back to Celebrating Act 2. Today, my partner John Coleman and I get to speak to our favorite baby boomer, Bill Jordan. Hey, hey guys. Bill. Favorite baby boomer. Holy yeah. smoke. That's uh, There's no pressure there. Uh, yeah. just, a, just a little reminder. They had me back to talk about Embrace the Boom, which is my way of encouraging and inspiring and, you know, just uh, motivating, if you will, my fellow baby boomers. If you were born between 1946 and 1964, you are, by definition, a baby boomer. And I think society has kind of written us off as, as has-beens, and I think we have a lot to offer. And so that's why I just want to encourage us all to embrace where we are. Well, we're, we're, I'll tell you, speaking for myself, we're enjoying being baby boomers. Absolutely. It's a great uh, a great generation, great age. And I, I have to tell you, I think we baby boomers are a little bit more relaxed. We're a little less formal than uh, years past. But I don't want us to get so informal that we're wearing our slippers to the grocery store. I keep seeing... I keep seeing people in pajamas. Now, the kids, a lot of teenage girls are out in pajamas, you know, in the grocery store, in the fast food store. But really, boomers, baby boomers, old folks? No. I got to tell you, it's funny you say, I mean, I, I just saw a guy the other day. I couldn't really tell his age. I mean, he had he had a Van Dyke or whatever like I mean, It was kind of gray. So I, I, I'm going to say he's a baby boomer. He was wearing kind of a heavier jacket. He had the hood up. He was shuffling, I mean, like not even picking his feet up, coming up the grocery aisle in house slippers or bedroom slippers and shark pajama bottoms. Wow. Like little sharks drawn on them. Yeah, yeah. Obviously pajamas. So I yeah, so I asked myself, you know what they say, that famous quote about, you know, you will always be a prisoner uh, for the rest of your life as long as you are tied to the opinions, you worry about what everybody thinks of you. Right. Something like that. Yeah. So I've I've found myself wondering, has this guy really embraced that notion of not caring? Has he reached the ultimate mindset of truly not caring what people think? Or has he gone the other way and just simply doesn't care at all? Is it a self-respect thing? I don't know. See, I carry stuff with me. We've talked before about my cargo pants and stuff like that. Yeah, but even yeah. if I'm wearing jeans, I've still got, I'll typically have a pen. I'll have a big pen on me, a handkerchief, my wallet, uh, reading glasses, uh, a folding knife. Because you never know when you may have a, an emergency box or letter to open up. But this guy is not able to carry any of that stuff. I just, I don't understand the mindset. And I, I give women a pass. And I don't know why I give women a pass on this, but I give them a pass on going out in their PJs uh, in public. I, I don't know why I do. But for guys, I, I, I know I'm not supposed to judge people, but I guess the people at the grocery store wearing PJ, guys with PJs, and don't put their carts back. Those two people, those two, I've got to judge them. <laughs> I, I want I want us all to have a little bit of dignity. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Well, well you know, define self-respect. I, I, you know, I, I guess I could look it up, but what is self-respect? Is it not like feeling that you're worth projecting your best self? Well, let me put it this way. Howard Hughes had self-respect to the point where he let his fingernails grow, and he probably wore pajamas to the grocery store. Well, he probably, you know, I mean, Never. I think Howard, Howard Hughes has some other issues as well. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, though, I think I think uh, where I see you guys going, and maybe you, you need to come up with another commandment, another one of your principles, uh, uh, Bill Jordan, for baby boomers, is that if we, if we start accepting people going into sleepwear uh, right now pajamas, what about those who go commando? Okay. How's well, that going to How's that going to look at the grocery store? We typically don't know that they're going commando. Yeah. Well, we will find out if, you know, if sleepwear is uh, acceptable. <laughs> if he puts anything in his pajama <laughs> pants and they fall down, yeah. we'll know. And if you th if you think you got trouble hiding your revolver uh, in your PJs, well, think about I only that. know this, if that were to ever happen to me, I hope it's not in the frozen food section. 
<laughs> yeah. Because uh, then we have to talk about shrinkage and stuff little, like that. <laughs> a little, little silly over there. Right. So where, so, are we going? where are we going with this? Uh, say something and tell them, John, and get us out of this. Yeah, you know, that, here's the problem, guys. We're up against a societal change because I saw a commercial the other day. I mean, it's not just us. It's not just getting older. I saw a commercial the other day for slippers, somebody's slippers, mm -hmm. and he was touting, this guy was touting that his slippers, you could wear them anywhere. I've got three layers of this stuff and that stuff. Wear them out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's that's what the problem is. We're wearing our slippers outdoors. Get dressed for lot, God's sakes. Well, you know, I, I, I get that. I was never a Boy Scout. My brothers were, and they had the Boy Scout handbook around the house, and I would just pour over it. I would read the thing. So, But, but what was the Boy Scout motto is be prepared. I, I guess I just had that in mind when I go out and about. I may have to change a flat tire. Maybe not even my own flat tire. Maybe have to help somebody. Am I going to be of much help to somebody in some sort of physical capacity if I'm out there in my pajamas and slippers? <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. It's not a paranoia. It's I, well, that's why that's why I came to you. You know, we come to you guys with this puzzlement. It, Bill, okay. got, Bill. I'm with you 100%. Let's but go back to the days when instead of wearing our slippers outdoors, we wore combat boots with our pajamas right. outdoors. I, I think, from, I think from, we need, to, we need to, to, I'm sorry, we need to begin to rethink a lot of these things because we're sounding like three old farts. Okay. First of all, John, yes. slippers, okay, when you were a young stud, were called loafers. Okay. So you were wearing your loafers outside. Okay, yeah. and the and, and the transition from loafer to slippers is not a big stretch, and oh, I don't and know do that. you remember just uh, maybe a few decades ago, decades ago, that people were wearing sweats even to go shopping, maybe yeah, designer that's... sweats. Okay, so you know, uh, I, I think that uh, uh, this is we, we we need to change our psychology from the closed mind club. No, I, to, I dis Art, to I disagree. It was past. a slippery slope. It was <laughs> a slippery slope. Art, Art, and it Art started so... with leisure suits. Okay. <laughs> so so, so uh, to our philosopher, uh, Bill Jordan, what's the proper way to pronounce pajamas? Are they pajamas? Are they PJs? What, what, what is a, what I, is a, I guess a, a respected I, boomer talk about? If I have to reference them, I say pajamas. I guess I don't say pajamas. I don't say PJs. I I just say leave them at home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that seems to be one vote for commando. Okay, one vote for slippers. Oh. And so where do, where does that leave us? It is uh, as long as you don't get arrested. I guess anything is okay. Well, I don't know. I, I, as you're watching this, if you've watched this, comment below in the little comment section under under here. And, uh, and you know, what do you think? I mean, it's, hey, everybody do their own thing. I, I get that to an extent, but it's just, you know, I got to go back to whatever it is. What, what's my, I, I can't remember the numbers right off the top of my head, but, the, but my Embrace the Boom practice today is a perfect day for me to mind my own business. Maybe I need to do that and stop <laughs> getting amped up about guys wearing slippers I, and pajama bottoms in the grocery store. I, I want to leave us with a piece of wisdom from my mother, all right? Uh. We never wore our pajamas outside, but I know what she'd say. She'd say, as long as they're clean, honey. Hmm. Okay, so uh, I would say that uh, on that note, let's uh, say thanks, Mom, because <laughs> Mother knows best. Say and goodbye, the Mom. So always good. wear clean underwear because you never know when you're going to get in an accident. And women should always wear a bra because you never know if you're going to get busted. Uh, <laughs> I, this? Th okay. Thank you and good night. <laughs> Baby boomers acting like teenage boys. That's this segment. Oh, my. Celebrating God. Act Two. <laughs> See you soon, Bill. See y'all. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.